joining us for the Senior Spotlight. I'm your host, Brooke Kiesler, here with Heaven Tiley of the women's soccer team. Thanks so much for being here with me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Of course. So to get started, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'm Heaven Tiley, and um, I'm from Manassas, Virginia, which is like 30 minutes outside of D.C. area. Um, I'm about to be 21 this weekend. That's exciting. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, soccer has just been a part of my life since I was like three, so I've just been playing soccer my whole life, and school... Uh, I, I like school, but like school's not my thing, but soccer, that's like the main reason why I came to USCA came to soccer. So how did you get here from Virginia? Well, actually, Sue was our coach, Sue Vodica was our coach. She, we have a new coach this year, but um, she is from Virginia as well. Okay. She played like 20 minutes at George Mason from where, I, where, I, where I'm from, and she knew my club coach and another girl, Megan Smith, that came down here with me. We both came here together. And she just came up, and her our club coach contacted Sue and was like, "You should come watch these girls." So then they came, or Sue came up and watched us play. So playing club ball really helped you. Yes, get a club position. ball is a big thing. So you've been playing club for how long? Um, I've been playing club since I was in like sixth grade, and before that I was still playing, but it was like rec league, recreational mm -hmm. league. And have you always been number five? Yes, I've had number five <laughs> since rec league since I was like three years old, so it's a big thing for me. Do you, does it cover anything else in your life? Like, have you carried it on to any other aspects? I, if people like ask me like, oh, what's your favorite number? It's always five. And if people like ask me like if I like need a number for anything, it's always five. So five's just my go-to. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you got to keep it moving down me too. here. A couple other people have had difficulty with that. <laughs> yeah. Me and Megan actually, um, it's her one, it's her favorite number too. So we actually, my freshman oh. year coming in, we had to like battle it out a little bit, but I ended up getting it. How'd you win? Um, it was just like, I just, Sue, Sue asked me and was like, what number? And I was like, do you still have five? And she was like, yeah. And then like when Megan asked the same question, like she had to get 15, but like she's still a five in there, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah <laughs> That's what I told her. Of five. That's fine. <laughs> So, aside from that, do you have any other memorable experiences here? Um, every away trip is always a memorable. Something always happens. We're a crazy team. <laughs> like, we have, we always do, like, crazy stuff on the bus. And, like, we travel with the men's team. And the men's team hates us for it because, like, we're always so loud. And just, we always like to get really pumped up. So, like, the men's team will always have their headphones in and, like, try to, like, really focus. And then, like, we're always playing music out loud and, like, just getting crazy. But, um... With Su with Susan, Susan is always like a crazy. She's a crazy driver, and there's there was one time um, Olivia Stillner actually mentioned this in her video that she did for this, and she we were on the highway and one of our tires went out, and so like we were all the way in the left lane, and she had like as soon as the tire went out, she didn't even like check. She just she oh just freaked gosh. out and she like swerved over and like so our whole bus like everything fell off like stuff was everywhere. We had to, we were on the side of the road for like two hours trying to figure out like oh my gosh. like two policemen had to come and like our other bus had to stop and we were actually gonna have to pile everybody up into one bus, but like they decided that wasn't probably a good idea, <laughs> so we just waited it out. But that we had a game that day and like we were late and like. It's crazy, but it was just But they just, just delayed it. They yeah. didn't miss it. No, yeah, we didn't miss the game. That's crazy. <laughs> it was fun, though. We always make things fun. Well, that's a good thing to have with your teammates. Yes. So have you guys developed any other pre-game routines, or do you have any superstitions? Um, we always, since my freshman year, they brought this prayer into our team. So we do a team prayer before every game, home and away. And that's just, like, a big thing for us. So we... I assume we're going to do it again this year, but so it's a good, I like it. Good. Um, and then is there a staff member in particular? It can be anyone that, you know. <laughs> um, a staff member, if, if anyone, I wasn't really close to any of my professors and I'm still mm -hmm. not, but, um, Sue yeah. was always my go-to and like, she's not with us anymore, but she moved up to Wisconsin. She's coaching at a private school, but I'm hoping I'm going to get close with our coach this year, so maybe she'll be my next go-to. <laughs> and this is your final year mm -hmm. here. Do you plan on playing soccer in any other leagues or have anything else to do with soccer in the future? I'm really hoping I'm going to be a coach. That's exciting. I might be going back to Virginia because Virginia is, like, 
a more like where I'm from it's like soccer's bigger there than in South Carolina so like I'm hoping I don't really want to go back to Virginia I love <laughs> South Carolina but might be going back up there just for coaching that's exciting mm -hmm. are you going to continue a degree in that at all or just try to I'm, get straight into I'm coaching? not sure what I'm going to do I'm a business yeah. management major so I'm not sure I just switched from elementary education to business management that's last exciting. semester yeah. so I'm going to be a fifth year <laughs> but um I don't know what I'm going to do with business management. I still want to be with kids, so like maybe something with coaching on the side and something with kids too. I don't know. But. That's exciting though. Mm -hmm. Have you set any other expectations for yourself in your last season? Um, <laughs> there's a big one. I'm not like my years. I play center mid, and mm -hmm. that's like a big position for scoring and shooting, and that's like not one of my like. I would rather give the ball to someone else to shoot, like. <laughs> And, like, because some people say, like, it's selfish of me to give the ball away, like, because I have so many opportunities to, like, shoot and score. But, like, I don't know. Um, that's that's going to be a big thing I'm working on this season is shooting. So less shooting, assists shooting, shooting. And yeah. More, yeah. More less scoring. Assists, hopefully more <laughs> scoring. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. That's mm -hmm. a good goal to have, definitely, raise yeah. the stats. Mm -hmm. so. And then in conclusion, if you could use one word to describe your time here and your experiences at USD again, what would that be? I would have to say very memorable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you and your comrades have <laughs> had a few experiences. Yes. I have a crazy team and I love them. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Brooke Kiesler here with Heaven Tiley um, of the women's soccer team. Thanks for joining us for the Senior Spotlight and tune in next time.